I think it's just another one of those stories from Camp Encourage. As special as their friendship and relationship is, I don't think it's that unique to Camp Encourage. Maybe Kennedy and Liv are the luckiest girls in the world, or maybe they're just a couple of campers at camp that have bonded. It's what all of these campers deserve. They are like complete and polar opposites. Like the yin and yang of friendship. Liv is Kennedy's loud, and Kennedy is Liv's calm. You have this one really extrovert, really loud, really boisterous, very energetic, wild. She's just going 50 million miles an hour. Kennedy is the type of person, she doesn't need anybody to think for her. She thinks, she contemplates, and she is a deeply soulful individual. So I can see the connection between her and Liv and how that happened because Liv stands out in front, speaks on Kennedy's behalf, speaks for both of them, has that voice that Kennedy won't ever have. At camp, the campers are or know someone with autism. So that's already something that they have in common that they don't have to identify or worry about. They just get to be girls that have fun. And everyone wishes for that. We experienced early on with Camp Encourage the, the special feelings that the kids get when they, when they are surrounded by people who love them for who they are. When we first drove up that long driveway and she saw those signs, she started reading them and she read them out loud. And as we got up that driveway, her posture, she was sitting up straighter and she was no longer reading the signs as if they were a question. It started off, you are enough, and it ended up with, you are enough. And she hopped out of that car and she's never been the same since.